morning and welcome back to the BBN. I'm Chandler and I'm Margie and we are your anchors for today. This week our, our FBLA club traveled to Wenatchee to compete in regionals. We had five people qualify for state so they will be competing in state next April. At the FBLA meeting uh, we actually got to go and listen to two speakers from Walmart and Home Depot, which was pretty interesting. Yeah, they had a lot to talk about with career opportunities and... Yeah, did you know that Walmart sells enough bananas a year that you can go to the moon and back 11 times if you line them all up? That's a lot. That's it's a potassium. lot of bananas. Yeah, that's a lot of bananas. I was surprised. Um, no muscle cramps. No. 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 Yep. So we have five people going to state. Um, I'm going to state. Drew DeZellum, um, Victor Chacon, Mitch... Bozel and, and uh, Kate, Kate Smith. Smith. All qualified. Yeah. So good job, guys. Today we are going to talk about a necessity that many people have forgotten. Drinking, drinking water. water. Here are some tips for making sure that you're getting hydrated through the day. Carry a water bottle with you everywhere you go. Also, you can do things like set it on the floor in your office. It keeps it cooler when it's closer to the floor. Um, fill it up every now and then to keep the water cooler. Um, clip it onto your backpack. And uh, if you spend a lot of time on the road, carry an extra one in your car. Also, you can uh, set a goal and write down if you met your goal. So uh, looking at the progress on your paper, you can see if you've made differences. Um, and then it also teaches you not to skip. So. Hello, I'm Josh Squires, and this is your sports segment. Today I'm going to talk about wrestling. Last Saturday, the boys and girls both went to districts, the boys down in Kashmir, and the girls were near Spokane. For the girls, we have three that are moving on, Leslie, Jennifer, and Judith. Leslie placed third, and both Judith and Jennifer got fourth. For the boys, we got a first place qualifier, Rafael Varela. Two third place qualifiers, Elvis and Adrian, a fourth place qualifier, Oscar, and then one alternate, Chris Varalis. The two people on the team who did not advance are Anna Roscoe and Giovanni Barrios. Last Friday, our basketball team hosted the Cashmere Bulldogs. Um, it was our senior night. We had the girls' senior night right before their game. We had the girls' wrestlers, cheerleaders, band, and the boys' basketball team right before their game. Um, Carl Ward announced for the senior night, and uh, both teams played very hard, and the girls came out with a loss and are holding second place, and the boys came out with a, um, a win, and they are holding second place as well. Here's Danny Carrillo with the review of the Lego movie. That's $37. Awesome! Everything is awesome. From the directors of 21 Jump Street, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and, 20, and the upcoming 22 Jump Street, uh, the Lego movie stars Chris Pratt as Eric Brickowski, a ordinary Le Lego minifigure who lives an ordinary life until one day he's mistaken for the Master Builder and he is recruited to join an epic quest to stop the evil Lego tyrant Lord Business, played by Will Ferrell. On his journey, uh, Emmett encounters many uh, allies such as Batman, played by Will Arnett, 
a feisty rebel girl named Wildstyle, played by Elizabeth Banks, and the Wizard of Vit Vitruvius, played by Morgan Freeman. That idea is just the worst. This film was not only hilarious, but it, it really did have a huge heart and a lot of care to it. Uh, this movie was not just a reminder of why Legos are fun, but uh, what they mean to people and what they mean to uh, both children and adults uh, playing with them. Uh, the, uh, comedy in this, the comedy in this film is, laugh, is really is laugh out loud hilarious. There are so many jokes in this that, that come really quickly because the comedy in this is really fast paced. That felt like uh, you almost need to rewind it to really get the joke, but it because it's so fast paced, you're just laughing really, really just fast and really loud. Uh, what made the comedy in this film also like really great was that it uh, was almost like there's a moment in there was almost a sat like a satire of either everyday life or cliche movie moments, and this is. Uh, the directors of the of this film, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, they do a really good job at it. They we've seen that already in Twenty One Jump Street with the satire of high school, and you can really tell this. They put a lot of care into the script in this film. And even though this is a comedy, it still has those moments where it really t it slows down. Even though it's really fast paced, it really does. There's some moments where it does slow down and really takes in what the characters are saying and what they're what they're feeling. And you really care for these characters, even though they're little mini uh, Lego figures. The Lego Movie is not just an excellent family film; it's just a great film uh, in general. Uh, I really do recommend this film for everyone, not just uh, little uh, kids. Uh, for everyone, adults, teens, everyone, just uh, I really highly recommend it. Go see it. Uh, it's still playing right now, I believe, in the Olmec Theater and the Wenatchee Theater. It's uh, really was released last Friday. So it'll still be, we should still be going on throughout the month of February. Thank you. A glass of water? Yeah, actually. Too bad. Congratulations to all the band members who went and performed at Solon Ensemble on February 2nd. High school band and choir members participated in Monster Brand and Monster Choir on Monday, February 10th. After practicing all day, everybody pulled off a wonderful concert that received a standing ovation. Congratu congratulations on a spectacular performance. Reminder to all high school band members who are sending in applications for the Music in May Festival. The deadline to mail in your applications is today, February 14th, so make sure you get those filled out and mail them before the end of the day. Band members, Monster Band may be over, but larger group festival is right around the corner. Be sure that you get your correct sheet music and practice, practice, practice before the performance in March. That's it. Yay. Well, it's that time of year. Post season is on its way. Yep. The uh, districts are this weekend, down in OMAC and Okanagan. Originally, both games, the boys and the girls, were scheduled to be played at 6.30? 6.45. 6.45, so at the same time. So if you're a Brewster fan, that just wasn't going to work out. So mm -hmm. they moved the boys' game to 8.30. And the boys' game is at Okanagan. So girls is at 6.45 at OMAC High School. And then you have to drive on down to Okanagan to watch the boys at 8.30. So please be there and support. And wear your school colors. That's right, red and white. Uh, girls will actually be playing Newport, and the boys will be playing Freeman. So both pretty good teams, both third place out of the other league. Wrestling will be this weekend as well, down in the Spokane region, and we will leave more details on time and location when we get that available. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for more Brewster School updates. <laughs> okay, and we're rolling and action. Just go ahead when you're ready. Sorry, I wasn't listening. I've just been bat mailing on my bat phone. Yeah, can you just do the line, please? I'm Batman. No, the other line? Oh, right. I'm supposed to say some baloney about how you shouldn't click that skip button.